why is Holyoke having to repay the IRS these large sums of money? Este, every once in a while, most recently it was $30,000. I know you went before the council mm -hmm. and you addressed this issue. But for those who didn't sit through the entire city council meeting, <laughs> este, could you please tell us again, uh, why is Holyoke paying late? Not, no, pen, pardon me. Why is Holyoke paying penalty fees? Sure, absolutely. Uh, so... Uh, the penalties uh, that we're paying uh, are actually uh, pretty common. Um, that isn't to say we should accept uh, that we need to pay them, uh, but we do. Uh, and it's, it's really no different than when somebody files their own individual taxes. We're talking about withholding taxes, we're talking about uh, taxes uh, related to payroll. Uh, that's that's what we're talking about here. And so it's no different than when somebody files their annual tax, their individual tax return. Uh, they The money that gets taken out of your check each week is an estimate of what you owe uh, the IRS. And come April 15th, if you haven't paid what you owe um, and you don't send that money in, um, you may be penalized. Even if you do file on the 15th, and it turns out more money was owed uh, based on what you earned, the IRS will also penalize you for that. Um, that that's very common and that happens to people on a regular basis. Uh, even you know when people file estimated taxes or file an extension, they still have to pay what they feel they owe. Uh, and if it turns out they owed more, the IRS is gonna penalize them for that. And it's no different uh, for municipalities or any employer, uh, whether they're a large uh, employer or a small employer. Um, we have to file uh, right now, uh, we file uh, every payroll uh, with the IRS. We file an estimate uh, of what is owed based on uh, the number of employees that we have and how much they earned. We file that, uh, and then each quarter, we have to file a re quarterly return called a 941. And when we file that, sometimes we find out we overpaid, and we actually get a small refund back that we apply towards any potential penalties or charges in the future. Um, and okay. then we might also find out we owed a little bit more, and then we certainly pay that, uh, that little bit more. Will it be like, will that, will that continue in 2023 where for the, is, is it honest mistakes? Is it not doing, uh, doing something on time because there were other things that needed emergency attention? So how does this lead to that? The, the, there's certainly some of that, right? Um, you know, I think that at its core, uh, will it continue? Um, possibly yes. Um, that, not that I accept that as the right uh, course of business, but it's, it's an honest answer. Um, and part of that certainly has to do with, um, you know, all of the different functions of this office uh, and, and where attention has to be placed. Um, now, as we look towards the future uh, and look to improve systems overall uh, to uh, stop penalties like this from happening, uh, stop other issues uh, that have come up, make sure that we're c collecting on back taxes for property taxes, make sure that we're making wise investments uh, so that we can, you know, hold on to the taxpayer's money. Um, we need to also look at this. And so as I've talked with, you know, other uh, people uh, in, in the world uh, about this, um, one thing's very clear. The uh, process that we currently have right now, uh, where it's done wholly in-house, uh, most likely is not sustainable moving forward. Uh, there's a reason why uh, there are industries uh, set up, uh, organizations and companies set up that deal specifically with payroll tax. That's all they do. Their entire business model is just assisting organizations uh, to make sure that they're, they're payroll filings are done correctly, their quarterlies, their 941s, and then their annual filings are all done correctly. Um, that's certainly something we need to explore. At the same time, we need to make sure that the things that we are doing in our office um, 
are being done in a timely fashion. Um, you know, some of these penalties uh, result from you needed to, the payroll date uh, was the 28th. You have to send that money to them by the 29th. Maybe they didn't get till the 30th um, because of a processing error. Maybe uh, the person who was supposed to do it wasn't able to get to it. Uh, the bank wasn't open. A whole host of issues, right? That one day, uh, just that one day lag could easily result in a ten to $15,000 fine. Um, now, the IRS is willing to work with us when they let us know there's an issue. We talk with them, we communicate with them, and we may be able to reduce that down. Uh, we've had some success with that, and even in this most recent instance, um, have had success uh, by refiling, uh, working with them, showing them that some of the information they had was not accurate, uh, what they were basing uh, the penalties on. Um, and we, that's why we were able to reduce it from this very large six-figure amount down to uh, you know, around thirty to 40000 uh, that we're currently at. And uh, to be clear, if the city of Holyoke receives a penalty from the IRS it, uh, for a large amount, that is also a reflection of the employees that Holyoke has. Is that true? Like there's a, if Holyoke is paying out X amount of dollars every payroll period, then the penalty could be 1% of that. Mm -hmm. But that 1% is a lot of money. Yes. Oh, I mean, we, we you know, we just uh, processed uh, payroll uh, today uh, for, for the last payroll of the calendar year. And, you know, we, we sent uh, close to uh, $500,000 uh, to the IRS uh, based on that for all the, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands. Oh, oh, you know, close to 2,000 employees um, that we have that we process payroll for um, on a biweekly basis. So that's money we send out twice a month uh, to the IRS. And again, if it's a day late, 1% uh, of that, you know, it, it starts to oh, add Oh, don't up. ask me to do math. No, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> este, so basically, you know, to address the concerns from city councilors or residents, um, this is not that paperwork went missing or somebody's not doing their job well. This is what happens in the course of business sometimes, these glitches when you're dealing with multi-million dollar organizations. In this case, it's the city of Holyoke. That's absolutely correct. And, and I think where it does, you know, it, it, is it cause for concern? Certainly, anytime we have to pay a penalty or a fine, uh, we should be asking ourselves why and and looking at ways to address that. Um, there's a reason why this budget line exists. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not new. Uh, it's been there for at least 20, if not 30 years mm -hmm. um, uh, as a line. That doesn't mean it gets paid. Money comes out every year from it. Um, looking historically, there's been some years where it's been very large amounts. Uh, mm -hmm. Other years, it's very small amounts. Uh, there's been some times where the IRS has assessed us a uh, penalty and because we were responsive and we, we, we talked with them uh, and worked through it, uh, we were able to reduce that all the way down to zero. Uh, that was certainly my hope here, but unfortunately, um, you know, once we got to uh, where we were at, uh, there was still a penalty uh, left over that we had to address. Um, now, uh, ultimately, someone is responsible, right? And, and, you know, in this office, the treasurer is responsible to make sure that these things are being addressed. And, uh, you know, I, I know that the people who have sat here previously uh, did their absolute best to make sure that these things were addressed. And honestly, uh, they also were able to reduce some of these uh, penalties down uh, historically. Um, by being responsive, but we're in a position right now as a city uh, with the council that we have, the mayor that we have, the, the folks that we have working uh, in our offices, this new sense, uh, a renewed sense of, of energy uh, that, that I certainly feel uh, here at City Hall uh, to address these and tackle these issues. Uh, it's certainly one of the reasons why uh, you know, I, I wanted to address this as part of the supplemental budget process. Um, 
and to raise this uh, as a concern uh, so that we can uh, shine light on it and, and work on it as a city, uh, you know, as a city government uh, to be responsive uh, to the taxpayers and the residents uh, of the city uh, and build systems uh, and processes uh, to ensure that, you know, if this is to happen again, uh, it's reduced, the chances of it are reduced, um, and that there's a, a, a set uh, steps in place. The letter comes in from the IRS, and this is what happens next. And then after that, what's the next step, and the next step, and the next step. Uh, and that process can be followed by anyone uh, who comes uh, and sits in this seat after I do. Thank you, Treasurer. Mm -hmm. You're welcome.